Alright, let's try and get this out of the way quickly, shall we, so we can just move on to the game. Uh, before we start this game, we need to have a little history lesson about uh, Japanese history. Essentially, instead of measuring years in years like we do, they measure it in eras. So, the two eras we need to concern ourselves with this time are the current one and the previous one. The previous one started in 1927 and is called the Showa era. This lasted all the way up to 1989, at which point it became the Heisei era, as you can see on this very terribly drawn Microsoft Paint diagram. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can actually talk about the game. So, there is a series in Japan which started in 1971 called Kamen Rider. This is Japanese for Mask Rider, due to the fact that the heroes of the series wear masks and, wear, uh, and ride motorcycles. This as I've just said, started in 1971 with Kamen Rider, then was followed in 1973 with Kamen Rider V3, Kamen Rider X, Kamen Rider Amazon, Kamen Rider Stronger, Kamen Rider, which was actually by the fans renamed to Sky Rider, so it didn't confuse everybody, Kamen Rider Super 1, Birth of the Tenth, which was a special which introduced Kamen Rider ZX, or as they pronounce it, Z-Cross, Kamen Rider Black, Kamen Rider Black RX, both with capitals, then Kamen Rider were cancelled. It was only kept alive during the Dark Ages by stage shows and the three films Shin Kamen Rider Prologue, Kamen Rider ZO, and Kamen Rider J, who are uh, in reverse order in this picture, which I happily pinched from Tumblr. After a very long time, the year 2000 finally hit. And in the year 2000 was the rebirth of Kamen Rider. After a very long slumber, it came back with Kamen Rider Cougar. The tagline for Kamen Rider Cougar was a new hero, a new legend, both referencing the plot of the series and the fact that Kamen Rider had been reborn. After this, Kamen Rider became a yearly thing with Agato, Ryuki, Fize, Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, Deno, Kiva, Deki, Double, Oz, Forze, Wizard, and now Gaim all quickly following in its footsteps, year after year. Here's a picture of a guy in the current series. Eventually, the year 2007 hit, and fans created Rockman 7 Famicom version. It's an unofficial fan-made project, which as you can see, it just says it there on the wiki. It's turned Mega Man 7 from its 16-bit original form into an 8-bit version like its predecessors. Because of the way that the file structure is organised, it's very easy to make ROM hacks, and a man by the name of The Tong decided to put Kamen Riders into Rockman 7 Famicom. After The Tong gave up on this project, however, another man by the name of Kickhopper took over his work. This ROM hack is based off of the Kamen Rider, which celebrates the 10th anniversary or, well, it's the 10th Heisei series, but it was actually the 9th year, because it was only 30 episodes long and some other complications. This series is Kamen Rider Decade, and the plotline of it is that he goes from world to world, visiting previous Kamen Rider worlds, but an alternate version of them. And because all of the worlds are colliding and wiping out each other's existence, he has to stop this. Let's get on with the game, shall we? Right. That now was his chain into sound. The game. Yeah, that was not meant to be the original sound. I'm not sure if this has changed music. It doesn't sound like it. Anyway, this is our protagonist, no, this is the original Tsukasa music from Kadoya. Edmund 7. And this is his transformed state. Kamen Rider Decayed, with that pronunciation. They didn't change the uh, the text, because you can't, but they've changed the pictures. There's Pally Friendo Kamen Rider Cougar from 2000. Kamen Rider Cougar 2. Now, um. Decade... Yeah, useless. But uh, Decade gets cards that he's able to scan in the belt that he wears. And this allows him to transform into the, any of the previous nine riders who we'll see here. There's Agito, Ryuki, Fize, Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, Deno, and Kiva. Hmm. And they're all destroying the world, apparently. Sounds about right for a rider crossover. 
yeah, this this always happens. It's like Rider and other Rider have a fight. They realize they're actually both Riders and should be on the same side. Then beat up the actual big bad. At the end. Oh yeah. Also, and there's the end as base. There's that kid. Yeah. Does oh, that mean that base that is gay? Uh, yes. Fair enough. This is the theme music of Kamen Rider Decade, Journey Through the Decade. It's so good. If you're if you're a weeaboo, you've probably heard Gak before. And actually. then... I let it loop by accident. So let's start. Here we are. Redesign menu screen. Oh. This music's also another chunk of Journey Through the Decade. From a bit further in the song. So first of all, we're going to start with... Kiva. I'm doing it in the order that Decade visited the worlds in the show. Rather than in which makes order. For a, it makes for a really bizarre trip through the game. Not just that, but because it's the 8-bit version, you're able to do that. If it was the original Super Nintendo version, we wouldn't have the chance at all. Now nah, Shade Man's a piece of cake. Yeah, I'd but Shade Man's from the second it's... half is the point. Oh, right, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Four and four. Well, that's an interesting point. You can fight all eight of them whenever you like, instead of that stupid 4 4 split they introduced. It's worth noting that this, this is, is probably. Roots of the King by. Hmm? No, I was going to say this is, the only, this is the only stage whose theme fits the rider. <laughs> ah, right, yeah. The stage thematic of yeah. Kiva. Um, this is Roots of the King by. Tetra Fang, because none of any of Kiva's songs actually properly fit, really. Oh, I heard Ixus His the other day. His opening theme kind of sucks. And Ixus is really rubbish. Oh, yeah. It's uh, the guy who plays Kiva singing with auto-tune. And the song is really bland as well. Wow. That sounds really, really terrible. Yeah. Anyway, this is the... Uh, Whose who's is this in this This saga's? is Saga's. Uh, it's, I'm not going to explain who Saga is because it's kind of spoilers. Oh, yeah. All you need to know about Kiva is that it was a series where a boy called Wataru, who was a fa half fangaya, was able to use the Kiva armor, which is what his rider form was referred to as, to hunt and destroy fangaya, which are essentially really fancy vampires. Yeah, stained glass vampires. Here's this Kaiser. Why is Kaiser here? Oh, yeah. Worlds are colliding. <laughs> Why not? It's kind of like Kingdom Hearts. Wasn't there one? Anyway, this is Kaiser from Fies. Kaiser we'll is the secondary later, rider from Fies, and he's usually the worst character ever. But for that reason, people love him. Hell, there's a thing and called Kaiser Day. Bug. Even the actors yeah. celebrate this. Is, I, I originally tried to record this because of Kaiser Day. That was September the 13th. It is now the 5th of November. <laughs> No, the extra life. It got away. Was that tackle? For some reason? Hey, what? There's Eddie. Uh, where, what? Or am I thinking of further on? You're thinking of further on. That was oh, a right. riot trooper back there, also from fight. Yeah, yeah. There's an extra life. For the most part, well, for the whole part, in fact, the stages are identical to Mega Man 7's. There'll just be a few sprites. Oh no, wait, changes. there's this one bit. There's this one bit where it's slightly different in Cloudman's state. That was close. That was close. Thank God slightly you different in cool. Cloudman's, but it's it's like platforms have been realigned for like there's four platforms that are in a different location, that's it. <laughs> I like this music. It is a, probably it's, the only good song like the, from Kiva. It's the I only know, music. A lot of people like though. Supernova, but I listened to that about 10 minutes ago and I'm still not a fan of it. <laughs> Seriously, 10 minutes ago? No, I was playing. Was that because I was, of this or just no, coincidentally? I was, I was playing um, Warcraft and I had a rider playlist on in the background. Oh, alright. Oh, it was just in the playlist. I had no choice. It was on YouTube. No sense. Alright. All I'll say about yeah, Kiva is that it starts off good and then it kind of drops off about halfway through. It degenerated. Through. Yeah. The secondary rider, right. Ixer, becomes comic relief it, yeah. and some really retarded things happen, including the main character trying to abort himself. It's That's also got really one of the weird. worst endings, to anyway. be honest. They come out of nowhere. For the boss fight, 
for the boss fight, I went with uh, the what do you call it? The climax climax day from Climax Heroes Four, there, which was a Wii slash PSP camera to fight game. Yeah, maybe we'll have a dick about on that at some point. Well, but maybe this Super is Climax Destiny's Heroes. Play. Destiny's Play is which a decent is song. Like, so I prefer Endless Play. It's the battle theme, I think. Wikipedia lists it as an ending theme, but the, is there really endings in Heisei? It just goes, on the um, next episode of Kamen Rider. I think only until Agito. Ryuki might have had one as well. Hmm. Well, no, you've cured Agito, Anyway, I think Kiba is had one for a while man, as well. and as such, if he grabs you, he will absorb your health. Other than that, he's a pushover. Yeah, Sam's tried to record this so many times, he's able to like buster every single robot master in this version which we we accepted when we originally live recorded this is easily much harder than the original because there's no shop. Hmm. Alright, oh, yeah, the weakness thing. If you hit a robot with the weakness in Mega Man 7, they sort of get locked into a pattern. Oh, in yeah, this yeah, it yeah. just doesn't do it. Instead it's a, of it's a feature going in the to X series as Dr. Well. Light's lab Instead of going to Dr. Light's lab, it gives you a demonstration, Mega Man 6 style? I think it was Mega Man 6. Yeah. And also they redesigned the password screen to work Mega Man 6 style. Okay. Instead of that terrible 4x4 thing with Dr. Wild's face everywhere. <laughs> Alright. Who are we doing next? Who, who was next? Oh yeah, it was Ryuki. Ryuki's world was weird. Really weird. Yeah, after watching the show, I can't imagine how the hell they came to that conclusion. It must have been something to do with the concept of Ryuki. I think I read somewhere that the alternate worlds were based off concepts for the shows that never made it into the final story. Oh no, I've just remembered. Zolde in the actual show, wasn't he a lawyer? He was, but that was And wasn't... then in the AU world... Everyone was lawyers, but I don't think that's... Everyone was I, I a doubt, lawyer. I doubt Kitalko no, was a lawyer was just jury. because of the concept of where they might have been lawyers. The idea was that... Um, anyway, it was that whoever wins in the AU world is... That's the court. Whoever wins gets the ultimate decision on whether someone's guilty or innocent. Yeah, essentially riders would go mess. into the alter, into the mirror, into this place called Mirror World and fight. But this is only in the decade version of Ryuki. They would go. Let's talk about the actual version, which isn't rubbish. bad. Ruin. It's no. Kamen Rider Madoka Magica. There you go. Yeah. That if you ever, if you if you've ever seen Puella, blah 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 Madoka Magica, you've seen Ryuki. Well, a magic Madoka. No, not. Wait, what? I think what it's. It I think it's Puella, Puella Magica Madoka. I'm not sure. The point is, no, if you've seen Madoka. that, you've seen. Who cares? It's Moe crap. We don't put much. Yeah, if you've seen that, you've seen Ryuki because the writer who was, whose favorite series happens to be Ryuki wrote that show. Oh, <laughs> man, I've just remembered. I just reminded myself. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But. Go on. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember that picture. You should probably edit it. In. Oh, I'm gonna have to put that Barry in. style. It's going in. It's done. It's going in. <laughs> oh yeah, because a uh, cash converter near my house had Legends of Zelda Wii U with Legends of Zelda Windbreaker or something like that. Yeah, they completely butchered the sign. Now the, the the original Wii U key, the bit, the proper version is about yeah. something called uh, a battle fight, battle. I think it's called. No, um, it's Battle Royale for Ryuki. Oh yeah, yeah, Battle Royale. Battle Fight is Blade. We'll get to that later. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, I'm not going to reveal the reasons why. Decks were made yeah. and but I'm not going to say why, because that's kind of the plot. 13 Kamen Riders. Yeah, 13 belts essentially were made, and as such, 13 riders are able to go into the mirror world and fight each other. That's what happens. Whoever win whoever Basically is the last rider standing survival. is gets a wish granted to them. But even then they've is got the to defeat, they've got to defeat the boss rider, which is and he's kind of broken. Beyond broken. But oh, yeah, yeah, in order to help them, they're able to make a contract with the monsters that inhabit the world. But in return for being able to use the power of the monster, they have to feed the monster the life energy of the other monsters. So if they don't, then they get eaten. Uh, yeah.
Yeah. This almost happens and to those guys about three really times. Weak. Noise crush. Hmm. Oji is actually a really good character. Maybe I should watch Ryuki. Maybe yeah. I should watch the movie as well. And be like, why is my head hurt? Yeah. Oja was a... Oh wait, that music. What? The music just then that we've just run out of was, was main uh, theme. the main theme of Ryuki. Uh, Alive Alive by is... Rika something something. This is oh, A Boundless that. Life and by the same one person, is I think. A Boundless Life. You'll find that a lot of Ryuki's Probably. themes revolve around life remix. and survival. It's essentially the climax version, which would also be the kind of... It's essentially the same music that would be used in the show when they do a rider kick or a finisher of some sort. Yeah. The, the song itself the is decent, but the chorus themes, is easily the best part of the song. Climax Heroes got it right because it gets the awesome fight song and it gets the, the chorus bit, the really climactic part that they use in the show. Does Turbo Man have some sort Come of on, suction Reed, thing? Because it. you seem to be trying to resist it. Yeah, he does. Oh, okay. He does. I never noticed that. When, when the fireballs fall back down. He tries to suck you into the fire or into himself. As 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 boss as bosses moves, go, right. this one sort of makes sense. I guess the fire thing could be seen as Ryuki's strike vent, and obviously turning into the car is his uh, yeah. the ride bubbler or whatever the hell it was called. Yeah, it's a good thing he actually is based on fire. Though Hideki also is so it could have worked. In for case it. you want to play along, maybe I'll put the link in the description. Yeah. Uh, it's also because I have to change the music, and that requires me to reset the game in order to change the boss fight music's over. Anyway, join us next time for part two, when we'll be taking on the next Kamen Rider to go in the bin. It's uh, Blade. A so very good join series. us then. Yep, see you it's, next time. It's my favourite, so see you then.